So what is Helsinki Declaration? In 1964, there's an association called as World Medical Association, which is for the medical community of the globe. And the declaration of Helsinki came into picture, which is a set of ethical principles. Again, now it is also ethical principles, just like Nuremberg Code. And it is with regards to human experimentation itself. So it is widely regarded as the cornerstone document on human research ethics. And the Helsinki Declaration provides guidelines to protect individuals who participate in medical research for their own benefit and for the benefit of others. As we saw, it is good for the society. So obviously with certain similar medical conditions. Now let's see what is Helsinki Declaration. So we have certain key points in this declaration. There are nine points, just like we had in Nuremberg Code. One is respect for individual. Of course, you can't just mercilessly, ruthlessly administer or just do anything with the patient just because he's your, uh, what do they call it, uh, like a lab rat, right? So you have to have respect for the individual. He's a human being at the end of the day. Again, we have an informed consent before and during the research. So it's a process, right? Say three months, four months, whatever the timeline is. During that research as well, the consent has to be informed. So in uh, Nuremberg Code, we just spoke about consent. In Helsinki Declaration, we talk about informed consent before and during the research as well. Now, third is scientific background and ethical review. Of course, the person has to understand everything and the doctor has to follow certain ethics. You just can't do anything. You have to follow a procedure. That's what the declaration says. Next is vulnerability of a specific group and specific vigilance in their protection. What does this mean? Vulnerability of specific group is prisoners of war, just like we saw in concentration camps or maybe tribals or maybe poor people. They are vulnerable. So they have to be protected. That's what the declaration specifically says that there has to be a vigilance in their protection. Not just that you say it on paper that we are protecting you and leave it at that. No, there has to be certain vigilance because all sorts of things happen as we know. Total, there are 37 such points. Remember, if you mix up a bit of Nuremberg Code points, I don't think that will be a problem because it is all on the similar lines. One is that there should be consent. Second is that the doctor or the researcher or the scientist has a certain uh, plethora of respons responsibilities and the person has to follow certain ethics. So that is very important. This now most important thing is that this declaration is not legally binding on the doctors. You might be wondering how, but yes, that is a fact. It is morally binding on the doctors, but not legally binding instrument under international law. And this has been amended seven times since 1964. Most recent is General Assembly of October 2013 when they amended the, amended the Helsinki Declaration.